Hello, today's January 26th, and in case you've been living under a rock the past six months, one of the most consequential and important meetings took place in Glasgow under the working title called Conference of Parties, which has been going on for now 26 times. I covered this in great detail. I was pretty much watching the entire time, and in its conclusion, which they read the plenary, which I'm not going to go through, but the gist of it is that this is from voxeu.org. In the agreement, they agreed that a resolution to pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius and recognition that limiting the rise in temperature to 1.5 requires reducing global emissions by 45% by 2030 relative to the 2010 level and to net zero around mid-century. Obviously, this is a complete farce, and we are not going to reduce by 45%, even by 10% over the next decade. Even by five, perhaps. Because you take one look around you and you see how interdependent we are on fossil fuels to power our civilization in every facet. So I'm not sure if it's because I've gotten like ill the past few days or I ate some weird food that wasn't cooked completely. Or I may have gotten the thing. I don't know. I may have gotten the thing. But I've been feeling kind of nauseous and uh, fatigued the past day or two since I made my last publish. And I'm just thinking back to this time, and when I do, it makes me, to this time when I refer to when COP26 took place, I feel nauseous. I feel literally sick to my stomach, like a failed job or a failed relationship. It just, it, that ended badly. It gave me, it gives me like sour, disgusting feelings. I wanted to express that in a video today, you know, and clearly I don't have hopes for COP27, but to merely sit back and see the ludicrousness of what we're attempting to do so late in the game is really comical and deserves a movie, and a movie was made, many movies were made. So I just, I wanted to express that, you know, that everyone here feels the same way, and changing gears back to my audience, if I just get one or two comments, like I know I'm pretty abrasive and brash sometimes, but if I just get one or two comments back that are really well thought out and well written, you know, that makes the video worthy to stay on YouTube to me. For someone else to somehow come along and come across this publish that I made, which, you know, I'll admit, the weird thing about YouTube is when you make stuff, it feels cool in the moment, and you're like, oh, I'm outdoing myself, and then you watch it later, like, what, you know, six months, a year later, at least, and you just think, uh, it's kind of, like, cringy, it's not what I exactly wanted to, I know how I felt at the time, but, you know, I was trying my best, but like I said, the comments, you guys make it worth it, um, and you guys are from all ages, all around the world, uh, feeling the same thing I do, and to feel that I'm not alone is a is a powerful feeling that makes this tool uh, so incredibly worth it. And I get the uh, I get the snarky comments too. Uh, in on my last video, somebody commented and said, "Oh, I hope you have a real job." It's like, aha, funny. Oh, you mean a real job that perpetuates the demise of my own future, the prospect for organized life on Earth, that perpetuates an insane and broken system that toxifies our fucking world. Yes, I have one of those. I've been having one every single year since I was 16, and I'm 33 now. It's funny. The internet is funny. Bunch of little trolls with little, especially you could tell their kids are boomers if their avatar, their thumbnail is like generic or it's something blank. You could, there's usually pickup signs. So, on one last note, I did get approved for the kitty. She's getting uh, spayed and microchipped today. I should be able to pick her up today or tomorrow. And she's six months old, 
which is like 10 years in cat years. So she's like 10 or 11. Just so much affection. They caught her wandering at large, roaming at large. That's what they call it. Roaming at large when they find an animal, like a dog that's just been wandering around. And somehow this cat, we found each other. Me and this cat found each other because I came to f Northwest Arkansas. And while I was struggling to like, not struggling, I was getting on my feet the past six months. This cat was roaming around, figuring out life and ended up at this, just found its way, found her way into this pet adoption facility. And I found my way here. We found each other. And this cat's going to ride with me to the collapse. Okay. It's going to be like one of those like shoulder cats, no tail, just wonderful creature to be with me during the collapse. Okay, well, G Cop 27 with the G20 leaders is going to be in uh, leaders. I say that is going to be in Egypt this year, and I expect no more progress than the last. Their intention is to ramp up actions on taking steps towards climate mitigation and adaptation but i i see absolutely nothing i see i see the giant corporate machine that that funnels tiktok viral videos into your f eyeballs to huggies diaper commercials on tv to planes and uh advertisements for mastercard and and fucking fast food i expect all that shit to keep continuing we are just spinning our wheels into the fucking complete disaster doom and the saddest part is when I tell children around here that are 2021, 20, some of them laugh at me. Some of them really laugh at me at their own future, <sighs> disappearing before their fucking eyes. Okay, I love you folks. You make it worth it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.